Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Big Rich, Pretty Work Detailing, Fayetteville, North Carolina. This video this morning is something simple that I uh, that I've been doing, and I thought I would share it. Might be interesting to some, and may not. But it's about this sponge right here. See that sponge? I paid what a dollar ninety eight cent for it. Dollar General is soft but I didn't buy it to use it as you see I purchased this sponge and I made four sponges out of it one two three and four see so what you have here with this one with this one here see the edge that right there gets in between the rim and the tire real nice and neat so now I have two of these and you see the curved side that goes around the rim I mean the tire real nice also these here the ends see how it cuffs to your hand you also can use this the same way and you also have a sharp pointed edge to get into tight edges on trim tight edges on trim I did I'm, I did this I'm doing this video because this is what I'm uh, using on uh, on tires you know tires and trims so I thought I would share this for a dollar out of Dollar General, get you a sponge, go buy one of these sponges, take it home, sit it on your countertop, and take a um, take a serrated knife, like I did, butcher knife, butcher's knife, and right here where you see the sponge comes down and get rid of the curve to this to this part right here. Just go ahead and line it up, come right across it. One sweet smooth, uh, one sweet smooth cut. And and then pull it out and come back again the same way because if you go back and forth like this, then you're gonna get jagged edges. But you just put it in and don't put no pressure. Just let the nice sharp serrated knife cut. Do the same on this end and then you take this part, when you have this part, and you try to sight the middle and you come down the middle and now you don't turn uh, one sponge into four applicators I'm getting ready to do a vehicle this morning um, over here this is my wash bucket as you see I have my red grit guard in there and one of my big blue sponges and that's warm water in there O and R going is going in here, and over here I have my tires and tires and rim brush uh, bucket, and this one I keep this one just for rims and tires. I have a total of six of those sponges, and back to this sponge. People want to know about the softness and will it scratch? Let me tell you, the, these sponges are super soft. They super soft. They will not scratch nothing. So, why pay whew, for a tire applicator, three dollars? Now you got two for a dollar, or you can say I got four for a dollar. But your trim doesn't get as dirty as your tires so you have two for tires two for trim there you go pretty work for Fayetteville North Carolina over here I got to fill up some bottles when I went to the store this is another bucket that I have and the grit guard is in my storage unit there right over there got to go in there and I have three buckets in there and man, I got buckets galore. 
And I always, when I'm out, I always buy me some extra spray bottles, you know? And they got the measurements, ratios on the side. So I'm getting ready to do uh, 20, 2015. No, 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 no. 2014 uh, Silverado uh, this morning. And so I'll probably do a little video on that of the process. But I just thought I'd let y'all see this video on go get your shoot for a dollar go get you five dollars worth and you won't have to worry about sponges for a long time pretty work detailing hit the like button subscribe tell me if this was helpful holla back keep on shining people